Blog. Hey there, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 12 of the official Big Farmer video blog. Now, in the last episode where we left off, we were halfway through a game, well, not halfway through, a little way into a game, and we'd set up our initial factory, we had a little bit of money coming in, but we, um, we hadn't kind of broken through to the level three cures yet or any kind of real big money spinners. Uh, we were on the cusp of doing that and I'm just going to pick up exactly where we left off. Um, and I said in the last, at the end of the last vlog that we were going to spend our upgrade points um, and wait for this, uh, this in new ingredient with a new side effect to come available. And then um, we're going to use that to make some ADHD medicine. Okay, so where do we want to spend these upgrade points? Again, we want to maximize our, um, our profit so we can... Um, well, we can earn a little bit more money that we're going to then have to, like, uh, spend on our next production line. I think it's worth getting a level of pill printer, which increases the value of pills. Um, all of your pills. This isn't as good as you think. You'd think this is going to be really good because you've got so many pill printers. But the thing is, actually, you really only have one pill printer active on any given... Um, any, any given drug, basically. Each drug only goes through one pill printer, doesn't it? Because you sell it straight afterwards. Um, and so actually we're only really increasing the profit by three, but we are doing that for all of our drugs. Whereas something like the ionizer, each drug is going through it four times for this particular production line. So you're actually going to get whatever your decrease in process cost times um, the number that, they, that it's going through, going so four. That's why I've been concentrating most of my research into the ionizer so far. But it, the, they do get increasingly more expensive, unfortunately. Should we get an agglomerator? Why not? It's cheap. And then two more. Where do we want to spend it? Probably Dissolver uh, at this point. Okay, good. We're seeing our profits increase again. But we've got our new ingredient. Brilliant. Now, this ingredient actually has no cure. It only has side effects. Um, which you'd think isn't very useful, but we actually, that's exactly why we wanted it. We really need this side effect, uh, but we are going to have a lot of um, bad stuff to deal with um, once we do some mixing. Um, hmm. So we need to get this side effect into this cure. Luckily, this doesn't line up with this, um, uh, with this uh, cure, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get them in at the same time, which would be a real shame. So... Um, we're going to... Oh, we need enough money to... Oof, okay, this is tricky. Um, should we max out our loan? You know, sorry, the reason I'm going quiet, guys, I'm just noting a slight drop in frames, and I'm tempted to save and reload this... Um, this game just um, to see if that clears it out still do an optimization the, the performance is so much better than it used to be but um, still get the odd issue yeah I'm actually gonna do that really briefly guys because I, it'll increase both of our enjoyment of this video um, I'll catch you in one second hey there guys sorry about that um, yeah much better we're back up to 60 frames per second um, I have to have a little look into that but um, yeah it really uh, it really bothers me when it drops to 30 uh, gets on my nerves I wonder if it might be something to do with fraps, actually, because it, it, it dropped to, like, a perfect 30 frames per second, which it doesn't do in this. It, do, it slowly might drop a little bit in a very long game. Uh, that's very strange. Um, oh, we've got these explorers back. Uh, same old problem. I think we're just going to fire them, because it's, um, it's just not worth holding on to them at the moment, even though they do cost so much to buy. Okay, well, look, we've maxed out our loan, and now we can get another plot. Okay, so we're going to import an antidepressant, and we're going to import this, which has our causes dizziness, which we want to mix together. Oh, we haven't got the multi mixer yet. We must be about to get that. Oh no, two more months. Hmm, what should we do in the meantime? Oh, we got some nice money coming in. Okay, let's start paying down our loan, and let's do a little bit of analysis. Um, while we're waiting, because there's always, this is the thing, is I think, I kind of wanted there to be a little bit of downtime in the game, because sometimes you do want to take a moment just to kind of wait for something to complete and analyse your next move, because you, I don't want this to be a kind of a Twitch game where you're, you're having to react very, very quickly to new information. What, what I mean, what's our long-term plan? Let's look at our cures. Well, we're going to definitely upgrade this to combat ADHD, because that's a beautiful amount of money. 
uh, really good demand. We might then want to look at um, going to reduce the strokes, stroke risk. Now the reason I'm thinking that is we've already got a lot of upgrades invested into our ionizer, so this is already quite a cheap jump. And then if we can do this one by getting the autoclave, then we're hopefully by the time we get up to this this price point, we're not spending, you know, we, we haven't spent too much on the processing costs and we're taking home a really nice profit. We need to do this one first as a first as a kind of stepping stone, I think. I think as soon as we finish researching the multi-mixer, we don't need the shaker luckily. We're then gonna hire two more researchers, scientists, get the advanced engineering, and then we'll go straight into the autoclave. Um 83% so this might be a time when you might want to put the double speed on um, or you could just spend your time you know enjoying watching things happen in your factory I mean I don't know if it's worth me redesigning uh, what we already have here oh I don't know if that's the factory sounds are coming through a bit loud to you they did just then um, hopefully the sounds okay um, Let's have a little look. 85, 78, 83. Yeah, no, I think we're kind of okay. I mean, to be fair, this isn't making us a huge... Well, 51. Make, it's not making us a huge amount of money. So we could possibly cannibalize that in a moment. Is there any way of making it more efficient? I think three evaporators is more efficient than one agglomerator at the moment. That costs 32. That costs 27 once you have three of them. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we could re look at repurposing this place as as the place for our our mix because we have three sockets, which is perfect to do a mix. Um, but I think we need the money from this angina medication too much to do that. Good. Okay. Um, we're probably going to need all of this loan money. Soon we're going to max it out, and then we're going to have to stop. You know. Well, that's... I have to be a little bit more careful at that point. Okay. One of the things you'll have noticed since, not last vlog, but the vlog before that, when I first introduced the testing mechanic, you don't, you don't start with the tester anymore, you have to research it. Which I think makes it a bit more interesting. It's a, it's a decision to kind of opt into it. You can actually play without it, you can see quite easily. But I, I, what I really want to do in either this vlog or the next one is to show you that how... Um, there really can be an advantage to using the tester, but it's it's more of a long-term strategy. Okay, they've gone for the cold symptoms. So that, they must have unlocked a different ingredient to us um, because we don't actually have access to Sue's cold symptoms yet. Good for them. Sorry, I'm flicking around lots of tabs. Just want to have a little look. Ah, oh, they've got the high demand one. That's actually really nicely done by them. I think they must have researched Desert Tech um, because... Yeah, there's no cold symptoms that I can see. So there we go. We made the choice to stick with forests, and they went in the opposite direction, went for desert tech. Um, that's one of the decisions that kind of differentiates your play. Okay, have we actually got this mixer the right way around? I wasn't watching it. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, now we just need to get that to the right concentration, which is only a single dissolver, and then another dissolver to set this off. Oh, we've got two dissolvers waiting here. Damn it. You get half the money back when you sell them, so it's not like absolutely necessary to keep them around, but ugh, I'm going to be holding on to these dissolvers forever. <laughs> that's annoying. It's not annoying, like, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's, I made that mistake. It's, it's kind of, it's up, it's, it's kind of a little way you can just increase your efficiency if you're, if you've got really high attention to detail, but I, I think that's something that you could totally just ignore and you, it wouldn't really affect your game. I mean, that would only have saved me like a couple of hundred dollars. Okay, so um, that took us, that upgraded our antidepressants, it cures ADHD, combats ADHD. So now we need to get that up. I think we're going to go for our, um, oh, should we go for evaporators? Try and make it super efficient and then upgrade our evaporators. I'm going to do it. I think it's a cool strategy. It's going for the the low tech but high efficient route. One, two, three. Okay, we need quite a few of these. I haven't really built them in the most efficient way. <laughs> and I'm gonna waste this socket if I'm not careful. Ah, this is stupid, isn't it? I need, do I need another three? 
Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna waste this socket for now. I, 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 I will fish it out in due course. No, oh, I can't fit this in. Oh, I've just been an idiot. Okay, like I'm trying to be clever. Stop trying to be clever, Tim. Just use an agglomerator. <laughs> oh, Tim. But you can see, like, imagine if we had, like, nearly always used dissolvers and evaporators instead of agglomerators and ionizers. We could have concentrated all of our upgrade points into those. So we would have saved a load of upgrade points here, a load of upgrade points here, all of them in these two. And then you're just you're talking about much more efficient lines. Um. Oh, I'm being an idiot, aren't I? God, I needed two agglomerators. Oh. Okay. Looks good to me. And we don't have any side effects, which is brilliant. We don't have to worry about that. Look at that profit, 235. Now that's going to really, you know, you kind of need to struggle to kind of get to that breakthrough drug and then hopefully that'll give us some really nice money. Luckily the AI is not competing with us on this, otherwise we'd have a real problem. And on some of the harder levels, you might have three different AIs, so there's a really, really good chance that they're going to compete with you. I've not turned this into a pill printer, have I? I'm making loads of mistakes. God. Look, I'm still going to have to block this. Um... Oh, I don't know. Didn't have to do that. Oh, uh, it's, this is what happens when you record two vlogs in a row. I am sorry, guys. I will hopefully do better. Okay, so plan is still on. We're researching this. Then we're going to go straight into autoclave. Um, is there anything else we can do in the meantime? I mean, that's going to cost six. We could maybe start working in the opposite direction, start trying to get the desert expeditions. Um, is there any other cures we could reach? Um, we don't have access to either of these catalysts, which is annoying. Uh, they've made an antidepressant. That's also annoying. Combat's ADHD. Brilliant. That is going to start bringing in some nice money. Do we want to double up this production line? That's a, that's a question, actually. There's always that option. Um, it depends how much we saturate the market. Uh, I can't actually remember how sensitive ADHD is to the market. You kind of have to find out through um, experimentation. Another option is, is to start looking at using the tester. How much is the tester? The tester only costs one scientist, so... Huh. That's weird. It says I have two scientists. But I don't actually remember... I think that's a bug. I don't think I actually have... Yeah, look, 120 today, per day. I don't actually have those two scientists. That's just an error in the, in the visual. So there's not really an underlying bug. It's just it's just an error in the way it's shown. See, as soon as I hired one, it went back to normal. Auto says it only takes one scientist. I think it's definitely worth getting. It only takes a month. Um, and then let's have a little look at our cure and see if we can make a, a kind of informed decision. Wow, they have a lot of products. They're doing pretty good, but they haven't got combat ADHD. Yeah. Um... Is it worth trying to find out... Now look, okay, 15 times this has been administered. And there is a bit of randomness here, so we don't know for sure. But only th three attentions focused. I'm wondering, could we make a better version of Combat's ADHD? Because this has no side effects. So we could, this could possibly be our, our uh, standout drug. And given that the AI didn't went for Desert Tech instead of Forest Tech, he might be a fair bit away from... Oh no, he just got antidepressants, so he... Oh, if he gets the multi-mixer... Ah, but no, you need to get the side effect before you can get the ADHD, the, the catalyst. So I, I think this is worth doing. Um, what we actually have to do, though, is make another ADHD med and then run that into a tester, which is a bit expensive, but I think it's worth doing. Um, and then we'll find out what the con good concentration is. Alternatively, what we could do is just experiment, but you don't know for sure. And, you, you, you know, you have to release a load of products and you have to work out, uh, you have to kind of, yeah, base it on just like these numbers. So I'm going to go for the testing route. Okay. 
Excellent. Auto test is done. Probably just leave this guy. Can we go to the infrastructure? No, we need one more guy to get that. It's probably sensible to hire another scientist and go for infrastructure so we can start get working on those desert locations. Um Okay, so we're just toggling that because we want this to be the base, which means that it's the, this one's that uh, extra effects that get thrown away. Then we run it through two dissolvers, and that should upgrade it. We don't actually have to get it active for testing. So this is actually all we have to do. So it's not as much of a ball lake as you might think. That is, if you have balls. And so we can just run it in um, this auto tester. So what's the combined cost? We're throwing away 79 uh, each time, each time we do this, so it's not it's not cheap. Um, but hopefully that won't take too long. Research complete, advanced engineering. Excellent, autoclave. Straight in there. Um, right, we have used up all of our extra profit. Now this is something that I actually want. This is again, I'm I'm quite happy with how things are going. I think the game has slowed a little bit here, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because I think it. Your decisions have a much more much much larger strategic impact at this point of the game, and so you you do maybe want to take your time a little bit thinking about what you want to do next. And what I do want a lot is for your you to always want more money. And basically, every time you kind of increase your profit a little bit, you end up throwing it into more engineers and more uh, explorers. And that's something I really really want to keep going all the way through the game. So even when you're going for your hadron colliders and your sequences. Uh, Okay, you can't see here, but I think the Hadron Collider takes 20, maybe 25 scientists. It's actually researches relatively quickly. It's like five months or something like that. But you have to get 25 scientists before you can get it. So, um, you know, you're constantly, even when you go for these high-level cures, you're just going to constantly be chasing that next thing, which is, again, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, I, I don't want you to ever feel like you've got too much money. Uh, it's one of the problems with Transport Tycoon, I think, is you do just reach this point when you have more money. You, you, you can't spend your money quick enough. Uh, to, you're earning it quicker than you can spend it. So, um, one thing I need to add is actually a little progress bar so you can see how close you are to finishing testing because it's a little bit ugh, having to just kind of wait and not know when it's going to be finished. Um, and then we will make a second ADHD med. I think that's probably going to come before the autoclave is done. Seven months left on that, yeah. So uh, we, we, what we will do is basically once we finish testing, we will just turn this into our second, our next production line. I would love to use this, so I think we're going to have to rearrange this a little bit by buying this, so this plot here. Uh, and then use this socket to sell our second ADHD med. And, um, and see if we can get earn a bit of better uh, brand value of that. We might even convert this one into the same, same type. Uh, I'm just going to go company tab and repay as much loan as I can afford to. Um, give ourselves a bit of breathing space. Let's little, have a little look at our company finances. Profit forty-eight thousand. Capital expenditure fifty-nine. Total revenue three four two k. Operating margin twenty-nine percent. It's not bad for a production company. I think that's pretty good if you looked at real figures. Um, I think supermarkets operate with a margin of like one or two percent or something. Um, that might not be true. Um, Good news, we have um, found the max strength of induces nausea. Uh, it's not what we were looking for, but it will be useful, because what you'll find is actually some of these side effects appear multiple times, uh, and so uh, or we might end up using this... Um, oh, is that max strength? What, why isn't that showing? Uh, that's annoying. Okay, there should be a little purple square which shows you which is the... Um, which is the max strength concentration. There it is there. Um, so in fact, this is at maximum strength right now. Uh, but the point is, yeah, you, once you find out what the max strength of a side effect is in the game, it will always be that. And so you can use that to kind of make sure you dodge it um, in future cures. So it's, it's a long-term strategy to use testing. Uh, I think it is a valid one, or I will balance the game to make sure it is, valid, uh, it is a valid one. He's gone for antibiotic. Interesting. Eesh, that's nice. It's not as good as combat's ADHD, but it's, it's nice.
was there anything else we wanted to test? I mean, we could look at making this better. That's pretty awful. 143 ang angina attacks prevented out of 1,100. Research complete. We've got on the way to desert locations. We could hire a guy and put it into planning position, which reduces plot costs, because we are spending loads of money on plots at the moment. Or we could go desert expeditions. I think I'll just go desert expeditions. Testing complete, combat ADHD. HD. Look, it's right at the other end. So if we'd worked our way along that and d tested each one in, in, in a row, that would have uh, been slow. Okay, wicked. Oh, let's stop testing. And then let's get loads more money. We're probably going to need all of this. But then I think we should... Um, we should really start to get the money in. I know I keep saying that. But that's what I like. That I want the game to make you feel like that. You'll keep thinking, oh, I just need one more thing. Um, and... You'll never be satisfied. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think we need one more. Oh no, I think we're gonna need one more beyond that. I count right. I'm just gonna watch. I don't wanna make any mistakes here. Good job we didn't go for evaporators, hey? Can you imagine how many we would have been? Uh, okay, we want one evaporator. Fine. Is it annoying listening to me sing along? Probably a little bit out of time with the music. If it is, let me know in the comments. Is that right? Max strength. Look at this. Strength, 200%. I know that is physically impossible, but it's like double strength. You know, you always see that on the labels of, of medication. Double strength. That's what I'm going to call my my ADHD meds. Now, a little um, little secret thing that I'm not going to advertise too, too um, heavily, but I think might be cool to include in the game, is I might actually have... If you have the strength too high on certain medications, it might actually cause like an additional side effect. Um, when you look at it in the company tab and you'll be like, oh, that's a bit weird. Like maybe if you have too much ADHD medication, it kind of makes people feel kind of numb and, 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 and kind of slow, um, which people might not like. So there might be kind of like a sweet spot. I don't know. It's just something to think about. Uh, I kind of want to add a bit more of a human touch. So it's not all just about, oh, get it in the right bar. Double strength. Okay, and now let's replicate that here. So it's two VAPs then, three uh, agglomerators. One, two, three. So you can see that you can kind of uh, build in your testing strategy kind of into the rest of your, your design, if you like. Like, it was much better. Like, the way that I did that was so much better than I did a couple of videos ago where I... I used the auto tester as soon as I could, and then I knew what I'd need to build afterwards. And I've got this space, and I kind of planned it ahead, planned ahead. Um, and so I like that again. You know that you know you have to kind of think about these things if you want to do it right. And I think this time it worked really well. I think it's really worth it. Oh no! <laughs> Spoke too soon. I need another evaporator in there. Hmm. Ah. Sorry about the random groaning noises. I uh, I do that. Uh, is there any way I can make this fit? Oh god, that's just awful. Ah. Uh. And then I think once we get this hooked up, I will uh, wrap up this video. Uh, and it will be our... No, it's not even our th first level 3 cure. That's annoying. It's just our first optimised level 2 cure. And then next time, what we'll go for is we'll have that autoclave and we will try to get to reduce his stroke risk. 
So you start to get a feel for the pace of the game. It does take a little bit of time to get through to the, the highest level cures. You probably won't get all of the highest level cures in a single game. What you might find is you aim for one and you get there and then, you know, I talked last time about objectives and victory conditions. Uh, and it's kind of around that sort of time that you you can start completing those objectives, those victory conditions. And so, yeah, I think, I mean, I originally said maybe a two-hour game, but actually I think it's going to be longer than that because we've already played for an hour and this is as far as we've got. So I think it may be a free three and a half hour game. Certainly something that you could do in a couple of settings um, to get that objective. Um... Oh God, have I messed it up again? Are you kidding me? No, forget. No, this is just selling. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, great. Um... I'm really confused. What about our double strength? <laughs> I'm so confused. Didn't we just make our like a double strength one? Double strength ADHD meds. Oh, it's not coming up in our company tab. That's weird. Huh. Brand value, 100%. Okay, well what I will do is, after this video, I will reload the game for the next one. In fact, I'm going to take a break, I'm not going to play anymore today. Um, and I, I, hopefully that will, that will work out. But, I'm pretty confident that with this double strength, compared to what we were before, which was like, right at the other end of it, we were really far away from it. Um, so I think this will start to accumulate positive brand value pretty quickly. Um, that's so weird, I don't know where it's gone. Research complete. We've got desert locations, wicked. And then we're going to get... Planning permission. Um, let's just have a little look. Are we getting any brand value yet? Yeah, look at this. We're already starting to get a bit of brand value. Brand value 101%. So it's climbing. And it's not been out on sale for very long. Um, and the great thing about brand value is it gets, it just keeps on increasing. And look, I might put a cap on it. I'm not sure. But I actually want, I want that. I deliberately want it to keep increasing over time. Because um, we want that... Um, this is a long-term strategy going for drugs that actually work. <laughs> Whereas um, you, what you saw for the first hour of the game or so, first 45 minutes, is we were just kind of making whatever we could as cheaply as possible. Um, because um, we just needed to get enough money to get to that next ne next cure. All right, I'll just repay a little bit of this loan and then uh, I will call it a day. And that's our factory so far for an hour of gameplay. I hope you enjoyed watching and... I will see you next time.